Welcome to Moomoo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about equivalent ratios. And equivalent ratios show the same comparison of two values. And equivalent ratios can be used to find missing values. Let's look at the steps for finding missing values with equivalent ratios. Let's go ahead and solve an example. It says, the car can travel four miles in five minutes. How far will the car travel in 15 minutes? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. I'm going to solve these using a box. You can also use a double line method. And I'll do the same problems using that technique and leave a link for you. Can't see that box. So here we go. First thing I do is I determine what information is given. And I'm given miles and minutes. So I'm going to label my box. I'm going to label miles on the top, minutes on the bottom. I then will enter zeros. I'm going to start with a zero. I then enter in the information I'm given. I'm given four miles in five minutes and I'm also given that you travel 15 minutes and I need to know this missing information which is how many miles did they travel in 15 minutes. I next, remember what you do to the top, you also have to complete to the bottom, or what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, so I will multiply 5 times 3 to equal 15. So I need to do the same. 4 times 3 is equal to 12, and so you will travel 12 miles in 15 minutes. Okay? Let's go ahead and work another example. Next up, I have the runner. The runner can run three miles in 24 minutes. If the runner continues this pace, how long will it take to run nine miles? Again, I'm going to draw a box. Okay, I'm going to label what information is given. I'm given miles and minutes. So this will be miles and this will be minutes. You run three miles in 24 minutes, okay? And I want to know how long it will take to run nine miles, so that is given. Now, I've left a open area. <coughs> I already made a mistake. I forgot to put my zero in. Sorry. Put a zero at the beginning, okay? Now, what I need to do is uh, I need to simplify this, and so 3 will go into 24 8 times, so I'm going to simplify this to 1 8th. I then, 1 will go into 9 9 times, so I'm going to multiply 1 times 9, and what you do to the bottom you must do to the top, and 8 times 9 is 72, and so it will take 72 minutes to run 9 miles. Sorry about this, I did forget to put the 0 at the very beginning. My fault. And let's work one. Okay, let's go ahead and work this last example. For every four females, there are 10 males at school. If there are 22 females in a class, how many males will be in the same class? So I'm going to draw my box. Go ahead and... Um, next, I need to get, see what information is given, and that is females and males. So I will label females and males. I will start with zero. I will put in what information is provided. Four females and ten. So I have four females in one class and ten males. And I want to know how many females will be, if there's 22 females in a class, how many males will be in that. So I'm trying to find this value right here. And that will tell me how many males will be in the same class. I then I'm going to simplify 
4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay. Next, I look at the number I want to get to, and I divide it by the previous. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. So 2 times 11 is 22. What you do to the top, you do to the bottom. 5 times 11 is 55. So if you have 22 females in a class, you're going to have 55 males. Hope this helps with equivalent ratios. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe and share.